hello there everybody who actually wants to see this i'm very happy that you're here um yeah, and essentially i will show you what guns i have <laughs> so first off um is my trusty little evanex 45 cute little gun is semi-automatic so every trigger response um, does one shot simple for right and or left-handed people on both sides of everything so you can use it with your right and your left hand i'm much except i'm a right-handed person um gas blowback so um essentially like every gas blowback pistol gas is in the magazine which i have here uh, actually loaded so i'm not gonna I, I will put it in but i'm not gonna load it right now and uh, yeah pretty good weapon it's rather accurate i have to say that i didn't expect that um and i really like this weapon i recently got a second mag for it um because why the fuck not and basically that's one of my backups that i use uh let's put that away then i got this really really awesome mini uzi got it today um what you can basically do is uh put out the buttstock and essentially extend the buttstock to um actually get the firing mechanism out you have to take the buttstock out but we're not gonna do that right now we're gonna put that back um put that back uh it's also semi-automatic so um since i'm in germany there is no full auto for any weapon over i think one oh, i think 0 0.5 um joule so that that but um, still good enough here you have your safety and basically i can shoot it right now that what you're hearing is the bolt hitting uh basically safe and firing magazine is on or more the weapon is co2 you put the capsule down there and basically screw it in with a yeah with an allen key that came with it holds quite a lot of rounds for a semi-automatic weapon so that is indeed a good backup as well um let's put that away as well i have this little thing it's an, it's a usp uh, from humorix um, as you can see it has a little suppressor mox suppressor on it it it's more for the looks than anything else really i'm not using this on the field because i'm just not gonna use this on the field um it's more for aesthetic properties when it's hung on the wall so it's more badass <laughs> um basically it's electric uh no blowback so not really a slide that moves uh hop up is right there and essentially you have little bend magazines there you load the internal battery and it holds 30 rounds it has the little safety lever here it is safe semi-auto and was a bit unconventional but oh well it has full auto so that's basically a very good and actually rather cheap um gun i got from amazon um rather good sidearm really and you have this little bottom thing that you can put i don't know light on or a little pistol these little pistol um, grenade launches it actually comes with an attachment under this with a normal piccadilly rail so basically it's a piccadilly rail screwed onto a piccadilly rail 
didn't really make sense it just made it look bulkier and I didn't like it, like it so I took it off um, then my current main I have an M4 um, with a rather custom stock um, electric blowback so basically that little thing here goes like this um, I have a I think it's up to f to um, 20 ma magnetization I don't know it, it makes things look bigger a lot and it kind of zooms in I, I'm not fluent in English that much um, magnifying uh, it magnifies about 20 times it actually has little wheels to uh, yeah to put it in there and basically it has lights as well there is well ah, there's goes my camera it has red and let's see right there red and it's the wrong direction it has normal that it's just empty and it has green I personally prefer prefer, prefer the yes. Um, I actually prefer the red, uh, at night because it's darker and just makes it easier. See? Ah, come on. Very good for that. Here we go. Ah! Oh shit, I did that. Fuck, so basically. Nah, fuck it. Um, and yeah, the green for the day because it's brighter, it's better to see. Uh, I do have a tilted front side, but I, I'm still missing the rear side. I mean, I have a rear side, but I don't have a Piccadilly rail at this place to put the rear side. So that's essentially right now useless. I have a angled grip, pretty basic. Some Piccadilly rail um, shield, basically, so I don't cut open my hand. A little silencer to, it's more for the looks as well but I am going to use this plane because it looks just badass I do actually have somewhere maybe yes there I actually do have the original flash hider it's a bit roughed up <laughs> so uh, yeah that's it uh, I do have a bipod on here because if I'm going to, you know, go in as a sniper with a DMR, it basically is pretty useful. I have right now a um, high cap with, I think, huh? with, I think it's about 500 rounds per mag. Um, basically, simple high cap, you put them in here and wind up but actually I like this a lot because you don't have to wind up in the wheel itself you have like this little cord that you pull out and you wind it up like that so that's pretty awesome uh, but I'm not really gonna use this it's just in there for the purpose of being in there right now the stock is custom from uh, Vagaforce uh, QRS stock and it basically is normally detractable and yeah same as with the Uzi it has it has the fire selector for full auto but it doesn't shoot full auto it just has semi auto and yeah this one is from LMT and uh, yeah that is indeed pretty nice as well. And simple M9 model. 
I do have the normal rear iron sights for this, but um, I don't really use them because if I'd use them, I'd have to you know, put this scope on the iron sights and that would kind of be a bit too much. But I do have them with the classical grip. I will show them. Actually, I will show it right next. Uh, what do we have it there? Ah, uh, that was my ass. That was a Mac. You go back in there. So go away and wait. Essentially, what we have here. Is, I'm gonna, just gonna put you down. Is my actually this is the grip that was on the M4 that's now down there that I just show you. Um, but right now I'm using it right here because it is actually a really nice rear side, and this one has a fixed front side. I tried to get off the flash hider and kind of broke it, so I just cut it off or sawed it off more like it uh, completely because broken flash hider it had sharp ends and it wouldn't really like that. I have a normal grip on this, fits normal M4 Max. This actually has um, it has uh, 0.5 joules, so this doesn't just have a collector switch, which actually is rather firm. Um, for full auto, it actually has full auto, and I really like that. It's it's yes, it's kind of small and compact, normal buttstock there. Um, but not that compact really, but it's actually perfect for Q CQB. Um, it's also from Umarex, like uh, the USP that I just showed you a bit back. And it was actually, I think, about 70, 60 or 70 bucks. And comes with one high cap magazine and yeah, a little battery. It's just yeah, uh, it has actually the Heckler Koch um, trademarks on it. It's an eight officially. It's an M416 HK. Um, yeah, and basically that's it about it. It's just normal. Mac release and you get to the hop up over this. So it's mostly out of polymer. I think the gearbox is metal, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, but it has a nice weight for CQB. It's perfect, actually. Small, rather small. Yes, uh, you could put nice scopes on it. Uh, the, the Piccadilly rails are fixed indeed, except for the one right here, but uh, that doesn't really matter that much. And yeah, it, that one is basically a little flip up. And this one is just for decoration. And I, I actually, that's this one was my first real AEG rifle. so. That is indeed pretty good. I am still gonna use this. Now on to my first ever sniper rifle that I got. It is the I'm not getting gonna get this. Ah here. Yeah. Now it's just completely in the frame. It's the MB4410 uh, from well. It's Basic spring action. Nah. The safe is rather simple. Put this up right here and it's safe. Put this down back to you and it's unsafe. It has a flip stock, so basically it's more for 
transport than anything else. The bipod that is on my M4 right now was with this, actually. There wasn't any sight with this. I was a bit... Yeah, um, I actually was a bit sad about this because it cost me around 230 bucks and I kind of expected at least some iron sights. Like not not a scope like I have on that, I had that before, but at least some iron sights that would would have been nice. Uh, yeah, the mag holds I think 30 to 50 rounds. I don't quite know, it's, it's a mid cap and fits in perfectly. Now, um, it actually has an adjustable cheek rest, that's very nice, it has a very nice feeling to it. And it is, uh, yes, the internals are mostly made of metal, uh, as well as the Piccadilly rails. Um, the externals are mostly polymer to make it lighter and to make it, yeah, more accessible to, so you can use it. You can actually put off this one, this little bit right here, but I actually haven't found a fitting res uh, receiver. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, fitting. Uh, fuck. Uh, yes, basically a fitting muzzle muzzle uh, to put a silencer on it. So yeah, that's that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. what's next? Oh yeah, my my. I'm just gonna leave those mags out right now because fuck that. Um. This is my very first gun. It's a Spring Action 911. I painted the slide and the hand guards there because why the fuck not? And I basically bought it for a costume in the first place, so that doesn't really matter. It is Spring Action, so basically you have to cock back the slide every time you want to shoot. Uh, it has a magazine right now, not in. Holds, I think, 12 rounds in the magazine and one round actually in the weapon itself. So you put a one round in, load it, and then fill up the magazine. Basically, just load with the uh, speed loader. Obviously, safe. Rather simple. You can cock that back all the time. It's more for aesthetic than anything else doesn't have much safety here and you can't fixate this, the, the slide but who the hell cares um, and I must say for a gun that I got for 30 or 35 bucks this thing is actually pretty accurate like I was actually really surprised it has a perfect well not perfect but it is a very good um, Accuracy what shooting is and uh, Yes, it, it's rather Useless, but it is made in Taiwan, so it is rather high quality actually um, Next one in the list is My trusty little Master K98. Now you will see uh, the duct tape on it. It's essentially on it because I have to kind of mark it because I will take it out on a festival for a costume that I'm making. And that way, because it's. Yeah, it's a rather rough person living in a wasteland so that it looks a bit used up and rough um, you have a sling mount right here and you can put one right here but I didn't find the right sling because fuck it uh, so I made myself one basically what I did there is a little hole here I put some just some simple metal through it and bend it so it basically is a little sling mount and it actually works pretty well it 
is um, spring loaded, but it has these wonderful, wonderful little shells. You put the BB right there and press it in, bam, load it in and shoot. Five shots, I have actually got four rounds for it. So yeah. So on to the next one. We have another M4 style weapon. It does have a flexible stock, yes. Um this one as well. Here's the hop up. I have a red dot side on it. It has these nice little flip up sides. You have to basically press this little button and it flips up. Uh, I do have a bayonet on it and the normal flash hider. Uh, it also got a sling mount here. And. Uh, yeah, as well, this one is over 0 0.5. Um, it's a Vulcan Tactical Battle Machine Series TCC Mod L. Uh, no retreat line. Made in Taiwan and has basically just semi-auto. Also, it's an AEG. Um, yeah, it has this little warning here. It's Rather nice. I got where is it? This high cap magazine with it. It fits the picture of this gun really well. You have to say it. And yeah, the little bayonet I got for like 50 bucks. A uh, 15, sorry. And this one cost me about 190 bucks. So yeah, I made a good deal with that for me um off to the next one there's only three ones left and a few scopes yeah, i'm just gonna close the door so i hate it this is gonna be a, such a long video this is my first ever rifle it is a spring action m 14 does indeed have a very nice accuracy fixed front and uh, front and rear sides i don't know if you can see this is the rear side this is the front side um basically except for the spring i think and the, yeah, the screws itself it's basically completely made out of polymer has a little uh, had a little uh, high cap magazine with it that had quite the interesting loading mechanism I'm gonna show you right now so essentially this is the mag you put the BBs in here normally but then you have like with a normal low or mid cap a spring that you pull down then you have right here this little hole there the bbs come out so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down this put it in the little nudge here so it fixates and then you have to shake it kind of <laughs> that is really a funny way to reload it because it's basically like a little rumble rattle and through the hole the bbs roll in uh you basically release the spring and you have the bullets um the piece i'm sorry put it in like that load it load it and yeah, shoot it you can put this sights on it laser you even have a little one here for a bipod or a little grip the front side you kind of can't pull off because it's kind of not that well fixated because the screw came loose but I don't really mind that much because it's basically for the looks it was my first rifle and I'm not getting this on again great um, 
it has a sling mount right here and one right here like the original and it's rather light but well it's made in china what do you expect and i think it has the little safety mechanism right here and i actually quite like this gun it is very cheap yes i got it for around 40 bucks and that was actually for the, the spring action and the picture that when you shoot it it's actually not that bad of a price and uh, yeah that's basically my m14 so now i'm gonna take a break with me um this one here. i have this little um m5 with a restrictable uh, retractable stock has several points where you can pull it and just yeah it has safe semi and full auto there's no battery in it right now it's an AEG you put the battery right here in the front and it actually had a muzzle nothing's on it right now it had a muzzle brake and a silencer with it also one mid cap and a high cap magazine the high cap let me just show you real quick essentially that is the mid cap you just pull it back or put a speed loader on it like uh, where is it like this one just put it on there and simple um it is rather light yes it is rather cheap yes i haven't really taken it to the range to be honest so i can't really say anything about the accuracy right now this one basically just for the fun of it but well you have it and uh, this is the high cap has the normal wheel right here there the bullets go into the gun and i find that really nice it's kind of a, looks like a double mag and the bbs you put in here and you have these dummy bullets you put them in the back here to close it up wind up the wheel until you have the normal clicking voice uh, mo noise not voice and that's basically it you put it in can show you how it looks it's more it is useful yes but the look of it is more for movie making i uh, got this with the silencer the two magazines um and cheap loader with a actual really tiny battery i haven't got i can show you the and it's like this and i really haven't seen that many batteries uh, with a system like that like you have the normal lipos and that's what i'm using but you have a special battery for that and i'm using it on that nothing else uh and off op, obviously a charger uh i actually forgot the mag for the other one here it is um then we have this G36C from Hackler & Koch, um, made from Yum yeah, Humorex, it has a there is, uh, little slip stock, really nice magazine I have to say with the dummy bullet, it looks really nice, you can like the real one attach a second magazine onto it so you have a double mag essentially you can put as many magazines as you want you can make like this long of a magazine thing and like one two three four nobody's doing that obviously but you can 
uh, there was actually a site with it it's total trash i just gonna use it for filming nothing else um it has a little sling mount right here and a little one right here um it as well has safe semi and full auto it's accurate as shit it basically it's unusable also front loaded with a very big it, it's kind of the normal lipo one but it's bigger and i kind of don't know what to do about this it came with a battery as well so fuck that um also came with a silencer and a muzzle brake a normal flash hider again and as obviously the normal front and rear sights you can actually flip the rear side like that so you have a little little closed one and a little open one that is actually really nice and just as i said can hit shit uh got this for i think 60 bucks all around basically mostly for movie making now where the fuck is my revolver there it is this i got actually just to have it because i fucking wanted a revolver it's a ruger superhawk it has the nice nice little licensed uh, stuff on here it's it says manufactured under license from Sturm, Ruger and Co. Inc. Um, if you know, don't know, basically, Sturm, German word for storm. <laughs> it is CO2 powered. You put the cartridge in in here and drill it in, and it actually holds. Eight rounds with a little cartridge and it actually is my strongest gun it has three jewel or jewels um, it's basically not really usable that much you could obviously put a, a scope on it and a, I don't know a bipod and use it as a um, you know a DMR but <laughs> I think that would be a bit too tacky um, front side and rear side actually the inner barrel hands quite back there so it isn't that obvious it actually looks really really nice it's basically except for the grip out of grip parts um, it is basically and the cartridges of of course it is indeed I think full metal and it it is quite hefty I have to say that but I love this thing it's also accurate as fuck like you can think it has a range of about 60 meters and on 60 meters if you do now how to basically shoot and if you take wind and bullet velocity or BB velocity in this case into account you can basically hit a target rather easily I haven't really found a hop up on this I really don't know if there actually is one but if there is one, I am too stupid to find it. Uh, then again, it has safe and unsafe. You can, um, yeah, that's gonna be a bit loud. Can shoot it like this, or just load it like this, and that's basically it. Uh, yeah, that's all my weapons that I got. A bit of the 
stuff that I got for the weapon. I got two magazines for the Evan X. Oh no, wait. Actually, I still have one weapon left that I didn't showcase yet. It's an M9. I bought it from a good friend. It is actually two weapons in one. It's an M9 gas blowback, but it has if you see the little blue th um, thing in there, um, it actually can be used with the CO2 magazines as well, without changing all the stuff. It has a basic safe right here. Um, before you think it's haunted, no, it's a bit extra, I think it's called. It's for left and right handed. What really takes this out is that the mag release is only for right-handed people, so you can't really release the mag on the left side, which is kind of taken down the point. Uh, it's still really nice. It has a very nice feel to it, like the blowback is really a rather hard kick. I have to say I like it that a lot. And yeah, you again have your front and rear sides. It's with white dots. Uh, yeah, I have one magazine for this one, two magazines for the FNX 45. Um, I actually have one magazine for the G36, two magazines for this one, one mid and one high cap. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I have four magazines for the USP, all 30 uh, shot mid caps uh, for the M4 type guns, like uh, the three that I showed you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mid caps, and 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, 4 uh, high cap magazines. Uh, for the M14, I have this one magazine. For the MB4410 or 1044, I am not going to do this properly. I have two magazines because basically two is enough. It holds about 50 rounds and that makes a hundred rounds for a sniper. That's definitely enough. I have four shells for the K98. I have one mid cap magazine. This one with the Uzi, it actually has this little release right here. It wasn't really in all the way. Um, I got one, two, three, four silencers. One came with the USP. One I got myself. A bit more high quality. And one came with the MP5 and one with the G36C. Uh, I have several iron sights. I do have a. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna take the shit out flying on the floor right now. Uh, put it here and the rest of the sheet. So essentially I got this little thing. It's basically Yeah. How do I explain it? Basically goes Onto this one, you just take off the screw and put it on there so you can put a side on there. On the real steel, it is actually 
hollow so you can still use the iron sets and this one it isn't um, yes yeah, so I got a hollow side rather simple and this little red dot I got three separate ones of this those are cheap plastic ones that I got with different guns I think this one with the M14 this one with the G36 uh, and this one with the MP5 uh, or with the HK I don't really know um, those are the USP mags it's 30 rounds um, I have four of those I have this little bad boy it's mid to high uh, mid to a uh, long range it actually is colored as well it has a red one I don't know if you can see that uh, well that one then it has Uh, green and it has blue actually but the blue doesn't seem to work that well right at the moment I have to fix that so yeah is it off yeah it is off and this is the cute little magazine for the M1911 um, yeah I got a sheath for the bayonet two holsters the thing up I'm wearing the vest I have this cute little weapon tag that my girlfriend wait made for me it's a little panda panda with the yeah with my initial P on it for my first name I have a Vulcan tactical helmet um, I do have a gas mask but that's not really gonna be used because it's old school I have tactical gauntlets um, and I have this mid cap it's an M one of the M4 mid caps from Amobi I got that with the M4 uh, my main and I have 10 of these it's also mid caps actually this isn't really mid cap because it works like a mid cap but it holds 120 rounds so it, for me it's rather high um, of course it isn't 500 or 300 uh, round but it is still a lot of round compared to these these hold 30 so I need three of these to hold the amount of bullet uh, BBs that this one holds and yeah you see that's essentially what I'm talking about uh, then you, I got an Allen key basically for the magazine of the mini see because yeah you have to reload the cartridge sometimes this is the flash hider for the mp5 and somewhere around my room there it is I actually have the flash hider for the g36 um, now I do realize I said I have two holsters uh, I have one for the right leg one for the left leg and actually I have kind of three holsters because I have one in my vest as well two pouches for the FNX magazines and right now two pouches for M4 magazines so I can carry four mags with me on the vest and one inside my weapon I am going to get new pouches that I can put on the back um, so that I can hold more M4 mags. Um, yeah, that, that is basically all the stuff I got. I still have two high caps and one really high cap, but I'm not gonna show them because those are on my Instagram all around. And the two silencers, I can show you that. So basically this one is the mp5 silencer and this one is the g36 silencer 
with the Vulcan M4, I actually found something. I found a, another grip that you can put on it. I, it came with it. It is polymer, but it is very firm, very nice grip. And you can put like a little laser on it. It's re really nice. So yeah, that's basically everything I got. And I'm not halfway done. So if you were interested in this, and yes, I know it is a very long video. I'm thanking you. Um, and yeah, wait on, <laughs> I will put actually new updates every time I get something new. So see you there.